Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Natalie the Dawn. I remain Shadow Fury 333, your host, and we are now in a match between Orphilius and Stuart 98, which is apparently a bit of a silly match, but Stuart wanted it, and it's Tuesday, so I might as well do silly matches because Tuesdays. And yeah, if you didn't see the last video, it's Tuesdays now, not Wednesdays. Schedule changes in real life. More details in the video of Exploit and One Cut. Anyway, Stuart 98 and Orphelia. So Orphelia is starting out, and we're on Cult, by the way. It's a flat map. We've seen Alien Desert. This is the large version of the same map. Alien Desert is basically the center of this, like, this section, more or less, of that map. Yeah, and Culta is the large version. And it is a massive vehicle map, but on large maps, air and gunship can work fairly well. So Stuart 98 going for hovercraft. It's like, are they going to go f Well, they're probably going to go for daggers early on. They're probably not going to go for a whole lot of... Well, they might go for scalpel spam. I don't know. Scalpels are in their build order. Yeah, scalpels, hoppers, and maces. So they are planning to go for scalpel spam. Orphilius, on the other hand, going for crane for construction. And that's about it. Not sure if they're going to go for just a lot of naked expansion, just take advantage of the size of the map, or if they're going to go and start building up rapiers and such. I'm also curious if Stewart's going to change up their build order once they find out. I mean, at this point, flails would be a good idea. Like, one flail just to deter any air construction. I could see that happening. Although, Stewart might just decide, well, maybe nothing's going to happen. Maybe it's just cranes. I don't need to worry about it. And that's probably not true. <laughs> More than likely, they will have to worry about it. I'd be very surprised if that wasn't the case. But Ophelius right now doesn't seem too concerned about being attacked. They're just building up, expanding everywhere, putting all their money into expansion. Stuart, on the other hand, sending some military, sending up some harassment, but way behind an economy. And not able to actually do much. Can't really affect much in Orphelius' side. So Orphelius off to a very strong start, very strong economy right now, and just getting cranes, just going for those naked expansions. Figure the map is so big, I just don't care. I don't need to care, because whatever you throw at me is going to die. Which will be true up until the point that the halberds come in. At which point, Orphelius is not going to be so secure. That being said, Stuart has not gone for halberds. They've just continued to go for the build order. They haven't changed it up at all. Despite the fact that it's clear that there's a lot of defenses and a lot of economy and Orphelius is just expanding very quickly. I don't know why the halberds, like, just one halberd, like, pull one of the halberds or just set up one of the halberds at the beginning of the queue. Like, hold alt, hit the halberd button or press the halberd hotkey, whatever. Do that, because that way you're going to get that halberd up early, you can at least rush in and see what's going on. See that they're going for gunships and know you should build a flail, rather than being surprised despite the fact that daggers should have, by all rights, gotten in and actually dealt some damage. And, more importantly, seen what's happening. So, yeah, definitely chalk went up to scouting problems. That was... If there's anything that's going to cause Stuart problems in this game, it is scouting. First, I should probably turn the messages off. Yeah, so at this point, not only is the scouting... Not no like the scouting's been denied. Although this crane's gotta be careful. It's gonna give it a I think the, the game's being given away right now. Now the question is whether or not Stuart actually reacts to this, because this is about to show what's happening. And Stuart should now know it's gunships. Or possibly planes. One of the two. Either way, flails are the right response. Although if it's planes, they aren't as right a response. Gunships is definitely the right response. Planes, it's a good response, but it's one of those things where if they're going for planes, it's almost a better response just to, especially in a map this big, just to go for a lot of expansion. Don't even bother with flails, just get a ton of workers. Against gunship, however, getting flails is by far the right choice, because the gunships can just stay in one area and just smash it to pieces. Planes, on the other hand, have to go around, and it's almost better just to build a raven or two, not a raven, a razor or two. Not worry about building mobile anti-air. And then, or just expand, well, mostly expand a bunch. Because air can't control space as well as gunships. Or should I say, planes can't control space as well as gunships can. But gunships can lock down an area permanently. Especially rapiers. Although, I'm surprised, like, banshees have not been used in a long time. Rapiers are just more popular. Rapiers have the slow missile, they have, they have the ability to run away while firing. 
Banshees have to stay around an area and just keep firing at it. But they can't do much else. So they just they deal their damage continuously, which is kind of nice, but as soon as they start to retreat, they stop dealing damage. Rapiers, on the other hand, can hit and fade, and that's very powerful for gunships who prize mobility. I mean, they're in the air. There's no terrain restrictions. So they have mobility on their side, and they do have health on their side relative to planes, but they're still fairly expensive for the power. And it looks like Stuart still has not gone for flails. Going for halberds, going for scalpels, no flails. I guess they're relying on scalpels to either knock down Ophelius' base before anything that really matters happens, or they're relying on... Seriously, this should be connected. Ophelius, you got to connect these. Or they're relying on scalpels to hit air, I guess? I don't know. It's just weird. Like, scalpels are not the right option in this matchup. They're not a terrible option compared to, say, planes, but they're still a bad option. And now the game is given away for sure. But yeah, like I said, they can be dodged. Although, not... Yeah, like I said, planes? Planes is a bad idea. Gunships, it's an okay idea. Still kind of questionable. But against planes, it would be a terrible idea. However, like I said, flails are a great idea against gunships. And there we go. There's the flail. Finally, Stuart decides to go for it. Could have gone for it sooner, though. But yeah, finally they decide to do it, and that will be... Like, one flail wouldn't have been that big of a deal if air was chosen, if it was planes, not gunships. It wouldn't have been that big of a loss, and it would have provided a bit of defense. Not enough, but a bit. And if it was gunships, which it more often is nowadays, the current metagame favors gunships heavily, then flails would have been a perfect answer. So at this point, Ophelia is switching over to heavy tanks because... I'm sure they figure the game's given away. Like, even if they don't know there's a flail coming, they know there's a flail coming. There, a flail has to be coming. No player playing hovercraft against gunships would not go for a flail. And there they are, the two flails. But yeah, that's that goes without saying. Orphelius just knows. And as a result, 30 seconds later, Heavy Tank Factory. Well, 55 seconds later. Heavy Tank Factory. With Caretaker support, because they actually need that in order to build stuff quickly. What are they going to build? Oh, yeah, that works. <laughs> I'm going to think, I was, I mean, Reapers would be the typical option, but they're a bad idea. I mean, against scal against scalpels that are okay. But Goliath has a much faster shot. However, the risk here is that the Goliath might not be able to build up in time. I mean, it's going to be two minutes for a Demi Strider. That's pretty high, all things considered. With well, the Fusion Reactor done... And a bunch of overdrive available, in theory, if everything gets connected. Like, put one pylon right here, that would be perfect. Anyway, apart from that, at least that gives it down to a minute or so. But even then, that's still... There's still a lot of forces bearing down on Orphelius here. Stuart basically has this timing. This is pretty much it. Once that Goliath is done, it's going to be very difficult to dislodge. But until that happens... There's a lot of potential to get rid of a lot of stuff that Ophelius has. And hitting along this north side is a good idea. Now, they aren't actually doing so, however. They they really aren't. Like forcing they're zoning out the rapiers very nicely. Which is exactly what they need to do. Just take out the north side. Take out the economy. Possibly even take out all this. If you can take out this stuff here, like Stuart is being way too cautious. Like, what they really need to do, especially, is take one of these halberds, put it into hold fire mode, like, definitely put it into hold fire mode, and just run by everything. See what's here. Because Stuart is being way too cautious, and they have halberds. They have no excuse to be cautious. They can know. They can use the halberds to scout out to figure out exactly what's going on so they know for sure whether or not it's a safe option. Before, okay, the Goliath, nice, on top of that, getting transported. Probably getting transported straight into Stuart's base. Yeah, right now, Orphelius is finally getting attacked. Still, Stuart took way too long to decide on that. But really, that's the biggest thing Stuart's been doing. Because Stuart actually did ask me. I'm not criticizing for no reason. Stuart actually did ask me specifically to give tips when watching this video. So I should probably make that clear. I'm not throwing, I'm not throwing tips out there unsolicited. Stuart specifically asked for them. So yeah, scouting. Scouting. Full stop. Know what your opponent is doing. Only then, once you've done that, should you actually worry about how they're doing it. Or what's going to happen. Like, if you don't know what's going to happen next, well, 
How can you possibly deal with it? You can... All you have is guesses. You have hard reads. That's it. And given that Stuart didn't even go for the flail, just given the fact that they saw the crane, which that's a read based off of the gunship meta being popular, that's a bad sign. Like, Stuart, just scout. Just no. Don't guess, just no. Yeah, that'd be the biggest thing. And also, like I said, same thing with this. Scout in when you have the chance. Because right now, Orphelius is in a great position. They can just... They can rush around the map and start smashing everything to pieces. Although the Goliath actually going down. Despite its best efforts to not die. Although, oh, he's going to get rid of this last scalpel. Never. Oh, no, is it? There it goes. Okay, scalpel's gone. Yep, that's dead. That Goliath, that was close. That was exceedingly close. But at the same time, Stewart's just getting distracted now by these, and that, that window's closed. There was a timing window where a lot of damage could have been dealt, and the Northwest is being attacked, which is good. But that timing window is gone. They can't get rid of the gunship plant, they can't get rid of the fusion reactor, which actually isn't that big of a deal right now. There's no mechs attached to it right now, but still, it's still there. It's still providing energy. Like, right now, there's a lot of reclaim Orphelias can do, and they can use every bit of it. They can use all the reclaim they have. And at this point, yeah, there's the Reapers. That's the more typical heavy tank option. But yeah, they have so much they can work with. And also, that Goliath, wherever it went... Where did that Goliath go off to? Should be getting repaired any time now. Oh, there it is. Yep. Indeed, it is getting repaired, and that's energy going to repair! That could have been going towards... Well, it could have not existed at all, really. But even then, Stewart's actually got a lot of territory under their control. But they don't have the economy from it. Mostly because of overdrive. Oh no, reclaim. Mostly because of reclaim. Lots of reclaim to work with here. Stewart does have the static economy advantage, but even then, there's just a lot in the way of direct firepower to work against. And on a map this big, Heavy Tank can set up, so they don't have to worry about that early game setup issue. And gunships have plenty of room. If they're hitting Antier in one section, they can go to another section of the map. There's... There's a lot of room for Gunship to harass everything. And once again, Scalpels are not the best anti-air. They're okay, but not great. I'm really surprised that more flails aren't being built. There's a couple of them. Like, two of them in the queue. It's pretty clear that Gunship is still a pretty... It's still a big deal. And there are Banshees coming in as well, so it's going to continue to be a big deal. It's... Like, no use throwing that away. Scalpels are not doing a great job. They're doing okay. Not doing great. They're being dodged. That's that's the biggest problem. And the rapiers are surviving. Like, it's just... The, the rapiers that are weak aren't even getting hit. That's the most painful thing. But at this point, I think Orphelius is just going to be able to take this back. They're harassing very well. They have used up all the reclaim, mind you, but still, they're harassing extremely well. They haven't lost a lot of units. I would really recommend just retreating everything here. Just retreat zoning. They have the chicken... Oh, I don't use chicken myself much, but still. It's like, set the retreat zone up 30%. Pull them back, or just pull them back manually. But I would retreat zone them instead. Because those Banshees can do a lot of damage. There's like, this entire naked expansion on the north side of the map. This is huge. Take this entire thing out. Like, It can be just done. You can get rid of that. Most of the map, really. Orphelius is pretty much... In the same position, actually, but they don't have to worry about air units coming at them. Stuart, on the other hand, talk about being undefended. There's... there's nothing. There... Like, this is with defense view on, just for, for reference. There's a Razor in the center of the map, protecting the commander. And pretty much nothing else. Like, really, that Razor isn't even much of a threat, given that as soon as Aryans start to come into range, these tanks are in range. Yeah, this whole north side is completely undefended. Orphelius actually hasn't checked that out, though, as far as I can tell. They don't seem to care. I think they just figured that they're going to be able to go for the win, which I would not recommend. As a general strategy, going straight for the throat is only a good advice if you know that it's going to work. At this point, they're half and half. They're actually even right now. Economy, economically speaking, they're even. Militarily speaking, Stuart is at a bit of a disadvantage, mostly because they aren't 
really harassing as well as it could be, especially with the halberds going around dealing with all this stuff. But then again, Orphelius does have a bit of a better defense setup. Not much better, but a bit better. However, there's a lot of naked expansions, a lot of naked mechs that, that can be taken out very swiftly by a single halberd. They put it on hold, fire attack move. Why is Stuart building all these defenses next to each other? They're very paranoid about losing their commander. This isn't total annihilation or supreme commander. Your commander, or planetary annihilation for that matter, your commander will not lose you the game if it dies. It's actually with the economy that Stuart has, the commander is less than 10% of their economy right now. However, nice. Halberd's coming in here to attack. Not nice that they attack the main base. That was actually a mistake. But still, nice that they scouted and attacked, and Stuart got to see what was going on. Not so nice they attacked the wrong point. And Stuart's commander, ironically, still dying despite all the protection that they set up. Which itself is completely moot. See, this is what I mean. There's a lot of stuff. But even then, the, the economy's not affected that much. Really, Stuart's probably going to get more from losing that than they would have from keeping it, just because the reclaim is going to come in. Now, that's assuming they actually reclaim this. Where are their constructors? Okay, there's one. There's one. This is it. This is literally... I'm control Zing right now. This is it. That's the only constructor they have. But they have 3,000 metal. That's free. For one constructor, that I think is... That's 7.5 or 5? That is 5. So yeah, 3,000 metal. That will last for about 10 minutes. Like, four, well, it'll be plus 5 to their economy for 10 minutes. Basically, it'll make up for the loss of the commander for the rest of the game. And then some. But yeah, at this point, it's just harassment coming in. There we go. North side's been taken out. This should be the seal, and th this should just seal the game. That's that's it. It's done. I mean, really, like I said, there was that timing where they could have attacked early before the Goliath came in, torn this entire thing to shreds. They probably would have taken the game at that point. The Goliath would have been a bit of a problem, but it was nearly killed to begin with. It very nearly died, and without the infrastructure to support it, it probably would have died. In fact. If they'd killed us, I think the Goliath was done, but I don't know if the transport was done. But yeah, if they got in sooner, the transport would not have been done. The Goliath would have had to go the long way, and most of this would have been destroyed by that time. Or at least the fusion plant. The solar plants would have been fine, but the fusion plant would have been dead. Sadly, they were a little bit slow on that, and also, this entire south side, it's, it's free. It's open. Just take it. Well, not right now. I mean, at this point, Stuart trying to do that would lead to a strong counterattack. But I mean, one halberd. A single halberd could tear apart most of these metal extractors, and then Orphelius would have to rebuild with a bunch of well, with a bunch of defenses. But at this point, it's just reclaim. Orphelius doesn't even have to worry about that. It's all reclaim now. If they lost their commander, it would be a bit of a problem, but even then, there's so much reclaim available, it's not that big of an issue. Right now, I would recommend Oh, Campfit. Interesting. Going for Grizzlies. I would say I would recommend Penetrator. I mean, really. 33 metal, that's not bad for Penetrator. If they had a Penetrator or two, being supported by all that, like, if it was supporting all that, that would have helped. But even then, it's not great. Yeah, I can see why they're going for Grizzly. Although, Grizzly is about the same cost. See, so yeah, I can see why they're doing that, because Grizzly is tougher. Doesn't matter, though. Stewart's throwing in the towel, and that is going to be that game. And we'll follow it up with another game between Stewart and another player who I can't remember offhand who it was. But yeah, Stewart. I might try with this. I believe it deals like 1500 damage. Yeah, 1500 damage. Penetrator. I'm trying to remember what that does. Oh, Penetrator's cheaper. Half the cost. Half the cost and twice the damage. Yeah, Penetrator would have been a much better idea here. Grizzly is tough. But Penetrator is nothing. Seriously, Penetrator... Penetrator is just four times as cost effective. If you have support. If it doesn't die... It's four times as cost effective as the Grizzly. It would have been two shotting all these Reap it would have been two shotting these Reapers, and it would have been shooting across them. Like it would have been just shooting across the bow on all of them. Or bow, sorry. Shooting across the bow on all of them. Hitting each of them for 3,000 damage, I think. So it would have just torn them to shreds. The Banishers, especially, the Banishers have been one shot, not two shot. Yeah. Should have built penetrators. That's about right. Although, really, the first thing you should have done is, like I said, attack sooner. Like, scout and realize things are open.
And is the... Okay, Stuart GG. Are they going to surrender or what? Oh, Penetrator doesn't pierce. Never mind. I was wrong. Just being corrected. It doesn't pierce, but it's still twice the damage for half the cost. So for the cost of the Goliath, they could have basically, with a pair of Penetrators, one-shot every Reaper. And one-shot every Reaper. I think the reload time is a little bit higher. I think the DPS is about the same. But the point is to do it supported. So it, it just wipes their force out. At any rate, that was way too late. Yeah, so we're going to have another match between... Click for Victory, who I've not seen before, ever, and Stuart, again. It's going to be in Battle for Planet 17, and it'll be up in just a moment, so stay tuned. I imagine that's going to be probably more in Stuart's favor. So yeah, the tips were more for this match, I'm imagining, not the next one. So yeah, stay tuned. Be back in a sec. 